You go look at Lancet magazine, they studied AIDS. They looked at the sperm, they can't find any live virus in the sperm. They can't find an HIV virus in the sperm. They studied sperm from AIDS patients all over the country. They can't find AIDS in the sperm. You know what the lattice distance is in a standard rubber? 10 microns wide. You know the size of an HIV virus? Four microns wide. Rubbers don't stop it. Not in the sperm. Doesn't pass by sexual contact. I'm no doctor. I'm no scientist. I went and read the articles. I'm just telling you common sense. There's plenty of other reasons to use rubbers and have safe sex in a country where other kinds of diseases, sexually transmitted diseases, are now pandemic, which is beyond epidemic. Safe sex is a good thing to have for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is there's too many of us. But that's a bonus on the age, you see, they get everybody afraid of sex. Afraid of human contact. Afraid to know each other. It's one more bonus. How do you get AIDS? I think you inject it. You inject it in a select community. You inject it in gay people in prisons. You give it to gay people that come in to sexually transmitted disease centers, which was 95% of the early AIDS patients had been to an STD clinic. You inject it into them in captive populations and you spread it that way. It doesn't spread easily. It doesn't spread by sneezing. It doesn't spread by screwing around even. It has, it's blood to blood. It's injected into the blood, whatever the hell it is. And I'm not sure it's HIV. You got a lot of HIV positive, no AIDS. A lot of AIDS, no HIV. It's doing something to the immune system. It's breaking down the section of the immune system that creates the macrophages. Okay. And by the time you find out that that's broken down, the last cycle has happened. And that particular gland is eroded. We don't know if that's HIV. HIV could be a cofactor or a trigger device of some kind to something else, to an already potentially devolved immune system from all the toxins. We don't know what it is. Who told us what it is? Gallo, from where? Center for Disease Control and Fort Detrick. National Cancer Institute, Fort Detrick. Biological warfare. Crossover staff from Center for Disease Control and Fort Detrick. That's who told us. The same people who lied to us about Jonestown, about Cameroon, and everything else told us about AIDS. The same professionals. I'm not saying I know how it happens, but I'm saying you gotta look at things twice. You gotta not just buy what they're telling you. You know, swine flu breaks out. Where's swine flu come from? Where was the first case of swine flu? Fort Dix, New Jersey, storage. Biological warfare, main storage point. Soldier gets sick with swine flu. Swine flu has not been around World War I, big outbreak of swine flu. We studied, we're going to get swine flu, we've got to take these shots. I start hearing a radio, I'm living in Philadelphia, black community is not getting its shots. Doctors are worried blacks aren't coming in for their shots. I mean, what other aspect of black health have they ever worried about? When have you ever heard an announcement worrying about black people getting any kind of health care in this country? But they got to make sure those blacks come in and get their shots. Well, I didn't, any black person I knew and myself, I said, don't go down and get that shot. People got to start getting sick with Garmenberia or these different diseases. The elderly were dying from the shots. They are not trying to protect you. you know, I'm not saying you use medicine, use common sense, use alternative stuff. But just don't buy it, especially on a mass level. You don't know what they're doing. And they, they put out this thing about AIDS. I found an article, a study in the Washington Post. 36% of the childbearing age women on Hopi reservations have AIDS. What's that? Hemophiliacs? Needle use? Prostitution? Sex? What's that? Hopi? Reservations, 36% of the childbearing age women have AIDS and none of the men. That's something they give you. That's not something you get. That's something they give you. 
And where is AIDS nationally? Is it gay population, white male population? No. 98% of the new AIDS cases as of the early 90s, black women. Worldwide, a black disease. Vast majority of AIDS cases and the worldwide figures are black people living in countries where the governments have been messed with by the CIA. Genocidal operations take place. That's who's got the AIDS. 